So this is just going to be a quick video on how to make a successful co-op campaign of mods. So mods are something that is part of Ready or Not, but it's a little convoluted how you actually launch them as part of a co-op campaign. So I want to cover that really quickly so you'll see how to do this. It's not complicated, but there's a few things you have to get right in order to do this successfully. So the first thing you want to do is go into mods and figure out which one you're going to run. So for instance, if you want to run supermarket, you need to click subscribe and then click on your collection and let it download. In some cases, it may skip to 100%. In some cases, it may get to 99%. Once you install it and extract it, you'll go back to browse and you'll get a message here that says you need to restart the game. Fine. Once you restart the game, then you'll actually see the mods appear on your screen at the missions table. I'll show you what that looks like here shortly. So if we go to the missions table, After Michael's, please call back. After Michael's, please call it will back. appear as a map that you can play. When you first download and install a new map, you will get an error message when you try to run it that says the map must compile and that you need to wait a few minutes. And it may take five to seven, eight minutes for a larger map to actually compile and start. Every member of your team needs to download, install, and extract and try to compile every map that you want to play together. So for instance, if I'm playing with three people, everyone needs to install and extract Supermarket Map, but not just that, they need to launch their own game and try to run the Supermarket Map. If they don't, then you will get buggy play a few times. I've had members of my team that didn't run it individually and compile it individually on their computers and it would crash halfway through the game or a third of the way through the game. So everyone needs to compile it, run it in their own individual window, single player, or just set up a, a, a game where they just give it five or ten minutes to extract, compile, do all that kind of stuff. You don't have to run it, but you do have to compile it, let it actually start on your computer, see that the, the game is actually started, and then you're good to go. The last thing that you need to be aware of is if you do not have every mod together with your group. So if I go back and exit back to the main menu, every member of your co-op team must have the exact same mod. So for instance, I have these two. Every member of the team I am playing with must have these exact two mods. If for some reason one person has an extra mod, the only way I've found to correct that is to uninstall the game, reinstall the game, and then get both of these mods. So if you're playing with a group of people, I would suggest that you only download mods when you are going to play them together and that you tell your co-op group that you don't want them downloading any mods or playing with any other group because if the mod, mod, if the mod list changes, you'll have to go back and delete the game uninstall the game from Steam and re-download every mod. Other than that, it seems to work pretty well. So, to highlight and recap, go to mods, download the one or two that you want to try. Everyone in your co-op team must have the exact same mod. So if I had a person on my team that had an extra mod, when we launched the game, they would have a error that would say something about a, a CRC check. So whatever mod you're trying to run, everyone in your team must have the same mod. So if you're running these two, perfect. Once you, run, once you download the mods, you need to individually launch them, let them extract, give it five, seven minutes, however, and then once the game starts on an individual basis, then you guys can actually go back, create a new lobby, and play. And it works pretty well once you do that.